All right, so I'm gonna be looking into my world's draft right now. This is my first, uh, my first pick. So we've got the Sigardian Savior. Um, this is a mythic rare, right? The five mana three three. So I have not, I had not really played with it much, to be honest with you. When I first, when I opened it in the booster, um, I think that having gotten some feedback on this pick, I think it's. Closer than I thought it was, but I still think 5 mana 3-3 three, three, that can potentially get one or even two creatures back from the graveyard. Uh, it's it's a flyer. I just think it's better than the other cards in the pack. I think Dire Ref Horde, Dual Craft Trainer, that type of thing, they're good. But um, I was I was fine with first picking this, but at the same time, like I should have been thinking, hey, I need to have two drops in my deck uh because if you don't have two a lot of two drops then it gets worse um the second pick i think is a bit more interesting so there's three three cards to really consider here eccentric farmer revenge of the drowned and covetous castaway two of them are blue one is green i kind of figured people would be f fighting for blue and i did kind of want to fight for it but the cat the castaway is a bit harder to to use sometimes sometimes you just can't get it into the graveyard it's just a two minute one three I feel like Farmer is pretty much always going to be good. Um, Revenge of the Drowned, I think people are very high on it. I think it's good, but I don't think it's, like, amazing. Of the card quality, I think Eccentric Farmer maybe gets the slight nod. It also just can mill a two-drop into my graveyard for the Guardian Savior. Um, so I went with Farmer. I really like the card. I think it's the best common in green. And, yeah, so I was I was very happy to pick that up. But I also knew I was I was passing two blue cards, which was a little bit scary for pack two, passing two blue cards. So I wasn't necessarily planning on being blue, but then I just hit get hit in the face with an organ hoarder pick three. And this is where things kind of, you know, started to spiral a little bit just because pick three organ hoarder. I'm thinking to myself, this may be a little bit of a signal to go blue. Everyone knows how good organ hoarder is. Um, and blue white or blue green, I'm I would be happy with either of those pairs. So I think it's just better than Shadow Be Sighting. I wasn't really considering taking anything else with this pick, and I was like, okay, well, third pick Organ Hoarder. I'm now thinking to myself, I'm going blue, um, potentially. So, pick four. I ended up taking the Shipwreck Sifters over this Falcon Abomination. Um, this was another... Sometimes you just get some super close picks to start off the draft, and I think this is one that people have questioned a bit. Um, this is very close. Uh, Shipwreck Sifters is... A, it's a gold card. I agree with that. It's a blue-white card. I also just think that blue-white is the best deck, so I was hoping to be blue-white, to be honest with you. I was... I'd be fine with it abandoning the farmer um, and just having a really nice blue-white deck. It's a card I can buy back with the Sigardian Savior if it dies. Um, conversely, Falcon Abomination, it's not as good as Sifters in blue-white. Um, in pretty much all of my blue-white decks, it's never been as good as Shipwreck Sifters. And then if I do go blue-green with Falcon Abominations, it's not going to be as good as in blue-black because the zombie token isn't going to be as relevant in blue-green. So it is a card that is best in blue-black, but you can still play it in blue-white and blue-green. So I think if I was make the safest pick here is the Abomination, but the highest upside, upside pick is the Sifters. I didn't really want to pass Sifters because I was trying to specifically, like, you know, kind of move in on blue white at this point because i do think it's the strongest deck if you can get it so that was my reasoning i think falcon abomination is kind of the, the over it's going to make your deck if you know you're going to be blue it's going to make your deck more of the time because it goes in more decks um and i think that's just what it comes down to um kind of a preference pick there as i know that there's arguments to go the other way i ended up going with the Sifters, then I took this uh, Search Party Captain out of basically nothing. I don't really think there's anything else. Pick five. This was kind of a, like, um, you know, 
fifth pick white card, search party captain, one of the best white commons. So I was like, okay. At this point, I wasn't thinking that white was overdrafted, which it turns out it was. But um, at this pick, fifth pick, search party captain out of an otherwise weak pack, I was like, okay. I, I, I wanted to be white, so that was that was good for me. Um, is what I was thinking at the time. Not really too close. This was another super close call. Keep in mind, I had already taken one shipwreck sifters. They are better in multiples. They're spirits. You can loot them on the, to, that. You can discard them to themselves. But um, yeah, they're just really, really good in the blue white deck. And I was thinking of just pushing my way into blue white. And so if I'm going to be blue white, I do think shipwreck sifters is the card to take out of the pack. But it's also tough. Because you've got the Wardens there, you've got the Gavany Silversmith, you've got a lot of in the Trapper. So you've got a number of good cards on color. And so I knew that, I wish there was just honestly just one card um, in my colors to take out of this pack. Because I know that I'm ship, shipping like three good cards in the colors I'm trying to draft at this point. Uh, which are basically going to get snapped up to the people ne by the people next to me. So whichever way I went with it, I was kind of worried about how pack two was gonna go but i felt like just if i'm gonna be blue white shipwreck to sifters in the pick was the pick and i felt like at this stage of the draft i was most likely gonna draft blue white so i took i took sifters i thought it was the highest upside of those choices and then this is where things just kind of started to go downhill with the draft i think i think first six picks i'm very happy with these picks um but I know that I'm drafting against stiff competition and they're not necessarily just going to give me a good blue-white deck. And that's kind of what we see here. I could have taken the Geist Wave. I just wanted to stay flexible in case things kind of didn't go my way. So I took the Might of Old Ways. And then the next pack, I had a Larder Zombie or Timberland Guide. Kind of similar pick here. Um, I think both are reasonable cards in their respective decks. I, I find with blue-white that I normally have, and I already had two sifters, so I have these ways to loot, and if you already have ways to loot, I actually do think Larder Zombie gets a bit worse. Um, still a good card. It's fine card. It's not anything like... I'm, it's not like I want a ton of Larder Zombies in my blue-white deck because I'm not necessarily making zombies, so it's, they're going to be harder to activate than in a deck like blue-black, um, in my opinion. So I was fine with taking Timberland Guide in case I had to pivot off of blue for whatever reason i kind of just felt like i might have to and having that two drop is going to be very important later on as as you are going to see so pretty uneventful so i here was here was here was kind of the actual signal because a lot of times what happens in boosters is you just uh in drafts is you don't get really good signals until later in the pack so Getting this to defend the Celestis on the wheel was kind of like, okay, like there wasn't that many good green cards to begin with. People passed it. It's pretty good. It's clearly the best card in this pack. Um, very nice pump spell. And so I was like, okay, do I want to be green? Like, obviously I wanted to be blue-white, but I have to just take what's getting passed to me. So I took the defend the Celestis. And then i kept getting some very mediocre green but still green cards coming through not blue and white cards um and so going into pack two i opened a graveyard trespass marker obviously i wanted something blue or white or green like premium and so the pr only premium card is in black so this is where things get tough because you know, if I open a red or black card at this stage, I don't really want to be taking it because I really want to be... In my head, I wanted to be deciding between the three colors that I already had. I didn't want to be, you know, moving into a fourth color in a format that generally is a two-color format most of the time. I've had most of my success with two-color decks, so Graveyard Trespasser, it's nice. It's not as great on a splash, um, but it, the problem was is that the next best card was... Um, was the card I ended up taking, the the Trooper here. Um, there's also a Gale Drifter, which I did see, but not really a card you want to be taking at this stage. I just decided, well, the Trooper's better than the Drifter, in my opinion, so I'll just take the Troop. Um, so, the Consortionist Troop. So, I'll, I'll just take that here, but I was very unhappy about it. Um, no really great pick in this spot. So, I take that, and then I get past 
this was really the first like really good red that I saw. I don't think in my seat I should have been red. Um, but yeah, I saw the adversary and the Kessig Naturalist, and had I like known somehow to pivot into red green, that might have been interesting. But or to draft black, that would have been interesting. It turns out I was just getting cut in these three colors that I was already in from from both sides. But I think I just have to take the Shadow Beast sighting here. It's just the best card for me. And then I grab a Lunark Veteran. Um, good card. It's better in blue-white or in white-black than in green-white, but I do have at least one farmer at this point. I end up getting a second one, so if you can if you can mill it, um, it's much better. I take it because there's not really anything else that I could take. I'm regretting not being black a bit at this point. Had I taken, you know, had I gone black, I could have maybe picked up a couple of Olivia's Midnight Ambushes. And, but, like, I felt like in pack three I was likely to get cut on black because um, I hadn't seen any pack one. I, that was, I hadn't seen black, so I just decided... I knew that already this pack was bad. It kind of went from bad to worse here. Um, I took a candle trap out of this pack. Very unhappy about it, but I was just kind of trying to salvage things. Um, the black ship had passed. The blue was not was just completely dried up. So I felt like I was going to be going into a bad deck, but I at least wanted to have a playable deck, right, at Worlds. Um, so th this was not plan A. Um, I think had I known what was going to happen, I would have gone into black um and maybe i would take the shady traveler and i would have a couple of these midnight ambushes and maybe the deck would be a little bit better but still maybe not a great deck bird and Meyer here just j just miserable packs i mean the faithful mending is just too little too late um nice card in blue white sometimes but like not not a premium card either um so yeah had i gone black green i mean we would have taken taking the rear here but i i'm just staying the course thinking i got the green signal pack one so i'm hoping to get paid off for green um in pack three this was the one bad pick i think like clearly bad pick I, when i take it the wolf over the two drop wolf i think i was just frustrated at this point that i just uh took the wrong wolf because i was trying to figure out how to salvage the draft at this point because you know it was like it just felt like everything was going wrong here in pack two. Uh, but I should have taken the two drop wolf, the the pestilent wolf, not the three drop um, one. And I, especially because I have the Sigardian Savior to get two drops back. So that was a mispick. Um, I just don't think there's there's a good justification for taking the three mana card over the two, the two drop here, unfortunately. But I did take the three. I didn't have that many threes at this point, but I also only had one two if I thought about it more i definitely would have taken the two drop and i regretted it after the draft um and yeah like just nothing terror like one of the most miserable packs i've had pack two i wish i maybe maybe pivoted into black but um yeah most of this is just unexciting i knew at this point my deck was not going to be great um, so I was just trying to kind of, like, I tried to force, not force blue white, but I tried to draft blue white as my, uh, the deck that I wanted to be, and that got cut, cut very hard, blue got completely cut, so I knew I was gonna have to waste those blue picks, kind of no, no matter what here, unless I open, like, a bomb blue card, um, so, yeah, I think... Anyways, I open another Trespasser, which kind of just made me regret not being black here. Um, I didn't get any black pass pack one. Had I known I was going to get it all pack two, I think I would have gone, like, hindsight. In hindsight, I wish I had I had two Graveyard Trespassers and some Olivia's Midnight Ambushes in my deck. And, and maybe had just been black, green. Not that that deck would have been insane or anything, but it probably it would have been better than than the deck i ended up with but at the same time i, I don't necessarily think that like getting away from the green white deck was correct at the time you know like i would have had to have passed um 
up on the troop for the trespasser in a spot where I was already like pretty heavily green and I had zero black cards. So I think in order to go black here. Anyways, I I was happy to get the white here. Uh, the, the trainer is just great in this deck. Happy to get it. Grab the dual crap trainer. Impact three kind of just salvaged the, the, the draft for me. I needed two drops. Got the hound tamer here. Pretty clear pickup. Um, I got the sentry, so I needed a two drop. I got the two drop, and I got a search party captain. I think there's an argument for commando just because yes, I and now we can see the blue cards are out of the deck because I I knew that those were gonna get out of there. Um, yes, I need more two drops, but I think search party captain. Sometimes you just need need to take the better card here, and I think search party captain. My deck also just needed power. You know, um, so I took that one. And a Soul Grid Griff. I don't like Unruly Mob. but I, And then I grabbed I grabbed a Dawnheart Mentor. Let's see. Pick before the Griff. So I, this was the big, this was the big pickup where I was like, all right, well, I at least established that green was under drafted or the right color to be in in my seat. I was at least able to do that. Picked up a Dawnheart Mentor, one of the best cards that you can have in this archetype. And then I also wield here, um, I wield here an eccentric farmer. Let's see if I miss that here. So I wield a farmer. Um, And yeah. Anyways, I got I did get the second farmer here. And the deck the deck ended up okay. Um I don't know when I got it, but I, I promise you I did get a second eccentric farmer. So I got an ex a second eccentric farmer at some point and this was me just building the deck. Um, I think there's been a lot of talk about 16 versus 17 lands. It, it especially hurts that you saw, if you watch the games, I did get mana screwed um, in multiple games. But I also had two farmers. I had double search party captain, so that's going to make me draw more cards. I have might of the old ways, so if I have coven, I can draw more cards off that. So... I had multiple ways to kind of potentially flood out because anything that draws you a card is kind of like can tripping through your deck. My card wasn't super high. It wasn't, also wasn't super low. It was kind of medium. I'm going to defend myself. I mean, is it close to play 16 versus 17? In my opinion, it is. But I wanted to make the farmers good. And I think in order to make them good, you want to have, you know, you don't want to be flooding out when you're casting an eccentric farmer. So that was kind of my thought process there. Um, I did win a game, you know, just having, like, having having density of spells in your deck is also important, right? Played some cards I didn't want to. Unruly Mob, pretty bad in this, very bad in this deck. I wish I had another two drop. Um, I had taken the Wolf earlier. That was the one pick I said that I think was just clearly a bad pick. Um... Like the, every other pick, I think I had, I had reasons to make. Um, whether or not it worked out is is a different question. And that pick, I, I just needed to take the two drop wolf over the bounding wolf. The bounding wolf also like I don't really want to play it, but I just kind of did. Uh, I could have played the candle trap. I think removal candle trap is kind of bad in this format, but could I have played it? Yeah, I sometimes sided it in, um, but. And I play the one tapping at the window um, that I got late. It's okay, I think, because you can mill it with eccentric farmers. It kind of helps with the savior to get some two drops in the yard. It's nothing special. The deck is missing a few cards. Had I, from the start, gone green-white, I would have had a couple more cards. I could have drafted a little bit better, I think. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what happened. I am happy that I took the Timberland Guide early when I did because that that at least allowed me to have you know that card in the deck which ended up being pretty important I don't think 
See, here's the thing, right? I drafted this deck. Could it have been a little better, or could I have maybe been a different color? There wasn't like a ton of black, but maybe I could have been green black. Um, hard to really s say. It's still, it, it's not like super obvious. Um, like when you look at the deck, it's clear that it's it it's not a great deck. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that I messed up super badly. I had I had a terrible pack two that also included abandoning a bunch of my cards from pack one and not getting great cards pack two. Um, but that's what happens when you're drafting and with this with with this uh, high level of competition. And so um, this also might have just been, hey, I haven't drafted that much against, you know, premier talent in, in a long time. So it's definitely different than just playing on the ladder. I was... I ended up going one two with this deck. I thought that was that was kind of like what the, it just felt like a one two deck. That's what that's what it was, um, and yeah, I'm hoping for more premier level drafts. Appreciate everyone watching. Um, thank you.